You always think it couldn't happen to you until it does. We're talking about being hacked. More than a quarter of American adults, that's more than 60 million people, hyperventilation, have had their personal data hacked at some point. So we're going to help you this morning. We brought in security expert Jim Stickley to reveal the latest trends in cyber crimes and what you need to do to protect yourself. Good morning to you. Good morning. I have to be honest, I had never heard of this first one. It's called typo squatting. Let's dig in there. What oh, does yeah. it mean? Yeah, typo squatting is where someone will set up a website that looks just like a real website, okay. only it's one character off. So for example, have you ever typed in a website URL and you mistype by a character, just fat finger? Absolutely. I used to do dictionary. I do dictionary .com all mm -hmm. of the time there you go one so, letter there's something weird that comes so up. in this yeah. case we've got today's show on the screen and now generally it would just be today for you guys real site really today.com yes yeah. but we're gonna go ahead and mistype today and we're gonna put an s where the d is because that's just one character off on your keyboard okay and we're gonna go to that website and as you see when the site comes up it looks oh. just like the today show site wow. so you go okay wow, great wow. you can browse the site everything works just like it always uh oh but all of a sudden this warning pops up on your screen and you go uh oh virus detection that and then your screen goes blue screen and you go oh no and then so, you panic yeah you so what happened so this is a fake site. They try to trick you. So they have an 800 number here where they're trying to convince you to dial this number. If you call it, they'll try to give you. To you fix try to get, your yes, computer. and they're going to try to get money out of you. So how would you oh. know that that's happening? Just if that ever happens, you've got to look to pay attention to where you're truly going to. This anytime it wants you to call a number, it's always yeah. suspicious. Yeah. Another way they'll do this is the exact same kind of scam where you go to the site, but this time instead of going, we'll change that D. We're going to make it into our that Today Show. We're going to change it over right. to a. Uh, how about if we change it to an F okay. to Too Faced Show? And this time when we go over. Over. Again, it looks just like the site. Even if we click on something, like we'll click on Al right there, we're browsing what we think wow. is the day show, but it's not really the show. Instead, what's going to happen is it's going to pop up with a different thing and say, hey, wow. you need to install an update. And so you see these, and sometimes they're real. In this case, though, it's fake. And if we were to go ahead and click on this one to install it, it just installed malware on our computer, wow. and we had no idea. That quickly, too. That quickly. But no how idea. can we protect ourselves against this? Because the thing is, like, I'm basically, I, my level of tech is that if I airdrop something to you, I feel like Steve Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I can't, you know, like, uh, how do we protect ourselves to know the problem is this isn't kind of some for. simple silver bullet. The best thing you can do is watch where you're typing on the URL itself. If you type that URL and you type it wrong, look to see you've done that. The other one the thing you want to do is if it wants you to install stuff to fix the problem or whatever, don't. Just ignore it. And worst case, if your computer gets stuck, like you can't make it go away, because sometimes they'll make it where it'll get stuck on your screen, can't go that away. That happens a lot. Reboot yeah. your computer. Just turn, just turn it, it off, off. Okay. turn it back on, and you'll be okay. in better Let's shape. Let's do another one. So are sure. we ready for remote logins? Yeah, uh, we're ready. Are, are you Hardware? Oh, hardware. Hardware yes. hacks. That was another one. Is so, that right here? Yeah. So basically what happens is we go to a bank site. And so in this case, they wouldn't let me to hack a real bank. So we're going to use a, a demo well, bank Well, there's here. that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we've got our fake bank here. And when we go to the fake bank, we go to log in and we type in our login and everything seems normal. And we're logged in. And that would all seem fine. What people don't realize, though, is just like your software and your computer, your hardware can get hacked as well. Like the oh. internet hardware you have, so you can have like a Wi-Fi device in your house, that could be mm -hmm. hacked. So now if we And it browse, becomes their weapon. Yes. So now we browse out on the internet. We go to a site that just happens to be a really malicious site that I've made. This site, instead of doing what you think it's doing and showing you some cool site, it's actually hacking the hardware in oh. your house while you speak. So, so what, now, and downloading all your information? No, it changes so that now, watch, if we now go back to that same site we were just at, we're at an entirely different site. It can control oh, now oh, where oh we my. go and move us along. That's so crazy. what you need to do is make sure you push updates Hijacked. Onto this stuff. You just got hijacked. Your yes. whole computer. You push updates? Yes, yeah, so there's updates on these devices. I don't want to be in the way. It's okay. really important that you get the update on these devices. And to do that, all you do is look at the bottom, you get the model number, go to the website of the site, whoever makes that particular brand, okay. and they'll walk you through step by step how you can put hardware updates on Let's that. Go to the thing. next one. Do you usually update your phone? I always procrastinate. I'll say I'm later, bad about it. Later, I'm later, later, later. Yeah, like, no, five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, next later. remind me later. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. don't do that. <laughs> Jam, help me out. Updates. What's the next one? All remote right. logins? Yeah, so remote logins. Every once in a while, you might get an email that says, hey, somebody's logged into your account from a new computer. If you see one of these things and it wasn't you, this is a really bad sign. I mean, somebody's hacked your account. You need to make sure you follow up immediately. So if you get an email, it'll generally come from social media or your banks. We'll do this a lot. If you get that email that says, hey, someone's logged into your account and it wasn't you, immediately go log into your account for real and change your it happened password. happened to me last week, But it actually. says change yeah. all your passwords everywhere. Really important because most Let's people use the, the same one, password everywhere. Every Everywhere. Everywhere. So if you use one password everywhere, change it all. We've got 20 sites. seconds okay. to do side loading okay. Side loading is basically to install an app from a third party site that isn't from Apple or Google, from somewhere else. Don't do it. That's the simplest tip I can give you. Well, I say really the millennials are, are subject to this a lot. Because they go around going the and third party. Their phones uh, and trying to get the stuff because yeah. it allows them it's to free. install things that are free that yeah. they would otherwise have to pay for. Yeah. Thank exactly. you so Don't much, do it, millennials. Jim. And it yeah. sounds like you know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed, Jennifer.